Good morning, my friends. Welcome to the den for today's shave. Today's shave is brought to us by Preta Province number 63. It's one of my absolute favorite soaps. It, uh, the everlasting gobstopper of soaps because I mean, this thing's several years old. I use it as a favorite. And it's just now, there was embossing on the top here. It's just now getting under that. Uh, so it's it's a triple milled soap. It'll last for stinking ever. Our uh, razor today is uh, one that I would have been using in Las Vegas today, but unforeseen fork circumstances keeps me at home. And uh, so uh, to salute my friends who are in Vegas right now, having a good time yucking it up, I'll be using the same razor I would have been using with them and also the brush that I was going to take with me. So I get myself as vacation like a shave as I can in the hopes of consoling myself a little bit. We had an epic storm here and we ended up with some water in our basement. Now I was very tempted to say, oh screw it, I'm just going to go. Because, uh, you know, you don't often get a chance to go to Las Vegas. I had the tickets, I bought the tickets in October. So I have been really waiting on this thing. But, uh, couldn't go, so. We'll just do this for my friends in Vegas who may have the, having the time of your lives out there. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> The Blackland Vector uh, is an amazing razor. It's got a brand new Pro Touch blade in it. Is it Pro Touch? Yeah, Pro Touch. This is a Kai Kai Pro Touch. It's a uh, artist club style blade. I don't think they're quite as sharp as uh, feathers. But I have a mess of them, so I gotta use them up before I buy any more. That's been ordered by the boss. But if you get you a vector, you can't hardly go wrong. So, pre P63 is also one that my wife likes pretty well. So if this was gonna, if I was gonna have a signature scent, I think this is probably what it would be, P63. About now, the fellows are waking up, gathering around. Then we go into probably Waffle House or Omelette House. There in Las Vegas, there are several locations of that. And uh, hope to have a great time there. I'm sure they will. And I'll be seeing pictures on the, the shavingcadre.com. They'll be posting some pictures of what they've done. And, Look forward to experiencing it through other people's eyes because I couldn't go. And I'm not bitter. <laughs> Good news is the man's coming to fix our furnace. We got our water heater started this morning. So only a day and a half with, with no hot water and uh, two nights with no heat. That was, if there was a bad thing about this, it's not having heat for a couple days because the temperature dropped. It snowed this morning. Yeah, crazy weather. We're going to have all four seasons in a week. Kind 
of keeping an ear out for the furnace man to show up. The furnace lost its mind because it was submerged. So it uh, put all the electronics in there got wet. And because the water came on so fast, I didn't get a chance to get down there to uh, cut the power. By the time we knew that the uh, things were imminent, things were backing up too much, it was too late to go down. There were live circuits and water. So thankfully the water never, the power never went out. Mm. Pretty good shave. I'm gonna hit my trouble spot here. To console myself a little bit, we're also going out to dinner ourselves tonight. Uh, somewhere nice and just you know spend some of the money we were gonna spend in Vegas and you know, spend on ourselves here in beautiful central Ohio where we're getting ready for the eclipse on Monday a dimes of donuts it's gonna be cloudy More often than not, April's not a real sunny month here. So probably gonna have to rely on a newscast to get our view of the eclipse, but we will be here when it gets dark. I mean, we'll be able to look outside. And some 30 some years ago we had a partial eclipse here when I was and uh, I was able to be out in the parking lot and looked at that I, we talked about that a couple times ago and I remembered when it got dark like that roosters were all thrown off and there was crowing and all kinds of stuff going on let's use the uh, PDP 63 aftershave balm Just like bro cream, a little dab will do you. It's a little snurdle about the size of a dime. I'll have to look that up, see if snurdle is an official word. It gets thrown about in the shaving world. Yeah, just fine. That's all we need for today. It's a great shave. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Major Rich. You'll find me at theshavingcoudry.com. Uh, shout out to my friends in Vegas. Have a great time. Look forward to hearing stories and, and uh, catching up with you guys later when you get home. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.